Hello, today we're going to talk about the like operator in SQL, and we're going to talk about this in a PHP context because that's what I've been making videos about lately. Uh, this is just general SQL, but uh, we're going to look at some PHP implications in a minute here. So, I think the first thing to talk about is uh, what a typical select query looks like. So a select query is used when you want to uh, find matching rows in an underlying table. This is what the general form of a select query looks like. So keyword select, this is the name of the fields you want. That's a wildcard. That would be everything from the table called hitters, where, and so this is going to be some field of name. Like literally, it's named name. And so what I would be doing if I conducted this query is I would get every row from a table called hitters where the name was Ken. So I ran this, I'd get a predictable set, right? I'd get everyone whose name is Ken. And that's what you call an exact match. There's a time and a place for that search, but you might want to conduct a different kind of search. And so a like operator can be used to carry that out. So once you understand how this works, then we can talk about a like. So like is a little like this. So it's still a select. So select star from hitters where none of that changed at all. This is the name of the column or the field that you're looking at. And instead of an equal sign, we use the word like. So there's no equal here. That's my search term. Notice it's wrapped in backticks. Notice the percent sign. The percent sign is known as a wild card. So if I do something like this, uh, what it, the result is going to be that I'm going to find every row that starts with Ken, and, and I don't care. After the E or after the N in Ken, I don't care what comes after it, and that's what a wild card represents. So like, for example, I would get Ken, because that starts with Ken. I would also get Kent, because Kent starts with Ken. I would get Kenneth, because that starts with Ken. And I'd also get something like Kenya. And so that's how you can use a like operator to conduct different kinds of searches. You could take this wild card and you could put it on the beginning of the word. And if you put that wild card on the beginning of the word, then you would only get words that ended with Ken. Oftentimes, when I'm conducting a web search and I want to uh, allow a powerful search for my users, you can put wild cards on both ends of it, in which case you'll just find every term that has the word Ken in it. So that's what I'm going to tell you about the syntax of the like query. Now let's just kind of look at it in practice. So here's a page, and this page conducts, it uh, carries out searches. Uh, there's a lot of HTML and CSS behind the scenes, but basically how this works, uh, I just got this field, and so if uh, there's a, it's a, basically there's a table of Major League Baseball players circa, I don't know, 2010 in here. So like if I put in Berkman and I search, or sorry, I did Berman. That's where you're going to get nothing because no one uh, matches Berkman. If I do Berkman, you're not even going to get it. You're not going to get anything either because they're in there as whole names. So I have to put in like Lance Berkman. Now, what I'm trying to illustrate here is this is kind of a hard search to conduct, right? I mean, you have to put in the whole name for a precise match. And if you're not real sure what's in the table, you're not going to get real far with that. Let me show you what the underlying query looks like. So here's my query. So I'm just doing a vanilla flavored just where search. So I'm grabbing something from a form, carrying out a search accordingly, and you can see it's looking for an exact match. Now if I wanted to make this easier for my users to use, I'm not going to change the way I'm getting the value, but if I want to substitute out this equals for a like, uh, you'll also notice that I'm using all caps for the SQL keywords. Name's not a SQL keyword, but my table is set up with all caps. And so remember, the other change I got to do is I got to put uh, these, um, I got to put the wild cards in there. I'm going to put a wild card on the beginning and a wild card on the end. So now, just to show you, I'm going to get way more results. And that's probably a good thing, depending on what kind of access you're trying to allow here. So now if I just put in Berkman, it should pull up Lance Berkman and anyone else with a Berkman in their name, which is just Lance Berkman. But that's nice, right? Like uh, now I can either search by first name or last name, and I can do things like I can just put in man, and I'm going to get every player that has a man in their name. And you see, I get a whole bunch of results. Yeah, I probably need to, should have done a dynamic div, but I didn't. But uh, as you can see, it's allowing for a more powerful search through using the like operator. Oftentimes when you're creating a web-based search, depending on what you want to do, a like might be the right tool. So hopefully that makes sense as to how you can use the like operator to allow your users to conduct a different search than what you would with just a straight where clause. So I hope that helps you to better understand the issue, and thanks for watching.